today we are going to be creating this flyer in Adobe Photoshop. So we will get started by opening up a new page. Page will make it 15 by 15 centimeters. Resolution 300 and color mode to RGB. So this is our page. We will bring our shoe image into this page. All right. Again, the next step we will save our artwork. We will write our text. We will start with S. Okay, S. Let's give it a font which anyone can access, which is impact, and scale it a little bit more, like this. And then let's duplicate it by holding Alt and dragging. Then we write A. All right, still Alt. We will change the background color double click then ok to unlock it then let's just give it a random color like that one let's uh, go to our letter till fx and give the, our letter a gradient uh, let's choose uh, yellow as one of our colors then this let's choose orange our color okay then we'll go here and make it uh, linear like that then we'll go back to our orange uh, let's reverse them by going here okay no it's not okay so we'll go in here and adjust our orange to be a little bit lighter and we'll go in and give it a shadow we we'll reduce the distance and also push it to the left and increase we'll bring it closer to it and then send it to front and then copy this effect right click and then layer style and paste all all other letters all right we'll bring l closer to a and also e closer to l and then send l front all right to come up with that kind of design we select all of them and then group them and let's scale them control j to blue and then let's scale them all the way to this side and let's bring our shoe to front then double click on the layer and let's label it as shoe then we are going to use the work tool so we come to edit and then puppet work so a point here and a point here a point here so now we can then a point here and a point here and a point here then now we can warp our shoe less like this like this okay like this So we will go to the shoe and try to put the shoelace at the back of our letter A. We will go to we we'll select the pen tool and then try to trace. Just try to follow this A as I say, like this. Okay. Then bring back our shoe let's go to the end of a like this and join it here right click make selection then select the map tool select inverse and then come here and make a clipping mask all right okay does not look that much good so we we'll also erase this one but since we have created a mask you can just come to the and select the brush 
B on the keyboard and then we erase it if the color is black we are erasing so now we are having that kind of design we can also come to a steel and select uh, make a cut here and here and here and then here then right click and make selection and then select our mask and then a mask layer for the show and then use B or brush tool to remove this so now we are having that kind of design so we can go in and also change the gradient of our background okay this color right click copy the color code and then come to gradient of this come to gradient yeah, we I already made this gradient, so I'll bring all this all the way and try to make it a little bit darker, okay? And I will, I think this is okay for now, and I will just add it to the text. Mm, let me write the text, then I will come back and I decide them and make some good designing. So, listen to the beat as I'm writing the text. I'll finish to write the text then I'll give try to give them some good font sizes okay I'll give this one 16 and this one I'll leave it to let me give it that one is okay for it then this I'll change it to black so that I give more contrast to the price then this arena arena.com maybe it is the website you never know you may also enter into shoe business maybe i right click i put it back this order okay and i paste it again i just copy it and then paste it wearing this long so i'll just put it here i increase its size order like that and then now i push it a little bit and also try to make it a little bit bigger and also uh, bold the font of now all right let me make all of them white so this is it we have for now let me lock the, the background layer and then scale this up like that to fill our page then this i can also scale them more and bring them a little bit down then i'll press ctrl j on the keyboard while selecting this layer to duplicate it to duplicate our shoe and drag it all the way to fill in the old page like that like that so we need to have some kind of texture in our artwork i'll put it on top of the background and then uh, change it to Let's change it like to color of uh, to overlay and then reduce the opacity all the way like to 16 and also reduce the fill uh, like this then we will crop to cut uh, the image which is go going outside then what we'll do we'll select all the layers okay all the layers and then ctrl g to make one layer then ctrl j to duplicate it then right click on top layer and make it a smart object and then go to camera row let's go to camera row and try to adjust the colors of our artwork i'll increase a little bit decrease then uh, boost the contrast try also to touch the highlight can do anything which you feel is good according to what you need you can put in the texture like this 
So we are doing some little bit of color correction to our artwork. So now this is after uh, this is after this is before so there is a good a big difference please if you are a new viewer don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like and hit to hit the bell button thank you for watching yeah, this tutorial hope you have gained something from it the arena i beyond you